Okay, so have you guys been seeing those Google AI images lately? Of the racist like the ones? Founding fathers and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, the racist? Wait, wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> the ones on like the homepage of Google, like that? No, not those ones. The people will, yeah, people will search certain things. Like, show me the founding fathers, or like, show me a beautiful white woman. It's like we cannot like reinforce any racist stereotypes. Yeah. And they yeah. go, show me a beautiful black woman, and it's a beautiful black woman. Oh. Yeah. So not just that. What? But, but basically, there's a, a Google AI tool image generator um, that pulls its kind of like information from the internet, right? right. But the problem is, m most of the internet right now is saturated with like a lot of like woke woke culture stuff yep. so the ai generator when it says like show me like the founding fathers it'll show like black people native americans like black like george dressed, washington like george washington yeah george washington oh, wow. Wow. that's kind of tight so and, and then another one wow. though uh it included uh racially diverse world war ii era nazi soldiers racially diverse nazis let me see that that sounds cool. like black nazis what but I mean, that's kind of funny because it's a diss on the Nazis. They'll be pissed, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? No, there's actually different. Um, there were actually different groups that were not oh, all white you're gonna, people. You're gonna spoil Nazis. by being too yeah, real. It's real. It's actually <laughs> there's actually pictures of like Asians and black people and like all that in Nazi uniforms. Yeah, it's it's fucking weird. The Zigheil? They were throwing the Zigheil? Yeah. But there's straight up black George Washington, which is pretty funny. Does he look cool? Yeah, actually, cool. or is it just the freaking cast of Hamilton? <laughs> <laughs> they they just look. It's so stuff cool. like this. <laughs> that should look like Rampage Jackson. Dude. Whoa, he kind of does. He looks like Floyd Mayweather. Jackson. Uh, <laughs> like these are black Vikings. The Pope's a woman. Um, is that John Hancock at the bottom? Chinese John Hancock? Dude. Is Daniel Day Kim? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel Day Kim, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. So basically, the AI is pulling from too much woke misinformation type like. Uh, inspiration, I guess, and it's starting to or generate. Its algorithm is fucking woke. You fucking son of a bitch who programmed it. <laughs> Maybe, but the I point mean, that is, is happening, right? Because because the image generation AI tool uh, was producing these historical inaccuracies, Google had to suspend the project. But does it ever happen the other way around? Where, like Harriet Tubman's like Vietnamese? Yeah. What, minority to other minority? Yeah, like the, when you try to, does oh, it I ever mean, happen it, the other way or some shit? Kind of, I guess, but I think it's like using woke culture specifically. Oh, you know what I mean? So it's almost like taking like popular male and or white, you know what I mean, things and, and switching those around. I mean, they've been doing that for like 30 years, so maybe we can have it for maybe 10 more years <laughs> and then we'll call it even. Yeah. But isn't that Give kind of woke culture too? Like imagine the, you know, the famous uh, black dude sitting on the bed. But then it was an Asian guy oh, yeah. and his With dick. Same good. huge dick though. Same huge dick. <laughs> God, See? please. Same huge dick. Because if you want to be woke, you got to be woke both ways. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just don't think that's fair. Did you see how Elon's suing OpenAI? Yeah. Really? Damn. I don't know the reasons why, but I saw it in big fucking captions on Instagram it's, right now. It's basically because the whole thing and big fear of OpenAI was uh, what it was going to be used for, the utility, right? And Elon always believes that it's a much more humanitarian type of thing to like go into like the the direction of AI in general and how to like manage that. Okay. Which is why he tried to put together the board for like artificial intelligence as well. Cause if you just fucking do it with capitalistic mentality and you're yeah, just trying to profit off of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course we're fucked. Yeah. So yeah. because OpenAI, uh, all the people that were like working on it or whatever started only doing it for like profit margins and like figuring out different ways to like turn it into something that was profitable for them. Yeah. He was like, you guys are fucking this up and you're destroying the humanitarian effort of what wow. this is supposed to be. Wow. That's, That's kind of tight. That guy's a superhero. Yeah, That's kind of tight that Elon Musk has the balls to do that. But we don't want to all have high mentality about liking Elon Musk, otherwise our fans might get mad, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't, okay. yeah, you know what? Elon doesn't know shit, I heard a dude. cyber truck's been rusting. <laughs> <laughs> I think Joe Rogan punctured a hole in his cyber truck, dude. <laughs> I haven't read anything that made me mad at him yet. Okay. I have to, <laughs> I have to be fair. You I know what? Fair. I mean, like there's one guy who's against AI. I think that's pretty cool. I feel like everyone's like, AI is sick, like we should do it. And there's one dude <laughs> who happens to be way smarter than me that's like, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm gonna be like, yeah. I you're probably right. Yeah, one of I'll these trust smarts. you on this. It's always like a bad sign when like a scientist rushes to the room with papers all over the place. <laughs> we need to stop now. <laughs> I have the data. It's too late. <laughs> it's like, nah, it's fine. It's Get that guy out of here. 
Yeah, AI is scary. It is, it's a little scary, she but says, it's also hilarious. He says the prominent AI startup had put profits and commercial interests ahead of seeking to benefit <laughs> humanity. Oh, well, maybe that's why the results come out like that, because everybody um, knows that in the direction of profit, it's diversity at the moment. Mm. You know, that like if you're casting a commercial, it's like there was a thing about the like Super that Bowl. EA score and all that stuff. Have you seen that yeah. thing? They're talking about like um, it wasn't. It was like a Super Bowl issue with the commercials. Did you see that? No, what was it? Where they were saying that like, um, so there was like, it, I forgot who was asking this. It was like some some black YouTuber guy and he was saying that they ca they calculated it and like al almost half or more than half of the representation on Super Bowl commercials this year, they were like black actors. And Good. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, but then they were like, why do you think that is? Oh, it was like some professor. And then people were like, oh, I don't know, because um, they think that that's the um, person that's gonna buy the product, or maybe they think that most NFL players are black or something. Like, yeah. They were trying to find the correlation. But then it was just that- um, Diversity hire. Yeah, it's just diversity hire. But then the irony is that the NFL itself, which is propelling those commercials to be seen, has no diversity hire. Yeah. I thought all the football players are black though. I don't, that's why there's no diversity hire. There's yeah. no- They don't need it. They don't have yeah. honorary Asians, honorary- yeah. So here you have a thing that <laughs> is only letting in the people <laughs> who are best for the job, yet using advertisements, it's making sure like the representation- yeah, You know who's over part. representation unfairly? Yeah. Polynesians. They're like- Talk about Over represent- yeah. Well, yeah, because if you look at the- <laughs> If you look at back the percentages <laughs> of how many Polynesians are in the NFL compare to America in general, it's like they're a very small percentage, but there's a lot of people from the islands that are in football teams. Yeah. Oh, I see. What oh, you I get. So they're over. Like it's a good thing. It's a good thing, right? Oh. Not if you're Vietnamese. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Because there's like one Vietnamese player. But the Polynesians are that they're pretty good at the sport. Yeah, yeah but the opposite not, right? of diversity. That's big, though. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of diversity, and I think what makes NFL or NBA or any of these places like uh, fun to watch, but also it's kind of like it doesn't go both ways. It's Getting into the NFL is a meritocracy. Yeah. How good are you, right? Completely, yeah. Same thing with like the whole college argument. It's if it's fully meritocracy based, why are you saving certain slots for certain people? Yeah. But then if you're trying to be diverse in the commercials, but the league itself <laughs> right. is meritocracy yeah. based, it's yeah. like what the fuck? Does it doesn't make any sense. But then when it's like an ad for like they need someone to eat popcorn yeah. or whatever and spill it, like how much of that can be a meritocracy, right? Like, yeah, it's like... <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Right? That's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, that's a good way of looking at it. You could be big, small, short, tall, any race. We just need somebody to play that role. <laughs> yeah, who's to say that a white guy is better at that? <laughs> right? <laughs> Did you see the way Randall let it just drop down his chest? <laughs> Randall's all thumbs, that's why. I know. Yeah, it's right. like, all right, we, this calls for a person to take a bite out of this corn that is, dog. That is true. It is it like, is different, well, yeah. What are we gonna do? It's like, hire the black guys. You or know? if they want true <laughs> diversity, the commercials should just mix all the stereotypes. Like a white guy comes home and he takes off his shoes and he walks into the house. <laughs> so the continuity is off. Yeah. Everything's fucked. Like a Vietnamese guy loves his fried chicken or whatever. Oh, I thought you it's just the whole, the whole commercial is just- Chinese like, guy talks like a redneck. I thought yeah. I thought yeah. you meant that the the black guy comes in the house, takes his shoes off, but when the camera goes up, he's white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be good. <laughs> they they let him take turns. They did that in, on a, on a Morongo commercial, where oh, that was, was hella weird. Shit. Yeah. Where it's like a black dude walking a Morongo, he's like, yeah, and then he goes at the bar, he turns into a Chinese woman, and he's like drinking, <laughs> yeah. like, and then she, she goes to the pool, turns into like oh. a white lady, and he goes to turns, she keeps turning to all the races. I was like, oh, that's good for diversity. That's what I was it's thinking like, when I saw the commercial. It's a black and white music video. It literally yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. But it's a good play though, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get it. I guess it's it's just one of those things that's funny when you like the way you put it, it's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I, when I get impressed is when I see a commercial for like Lunesta and it's a biracial uh like couple or something. Like they usually go like like black or white or black or like Asian sometimes, and then they have kids running around, and I'm like, oh shit. And they're Hoppa kids. Yeah, and I'm like, oh shit, they look like that. They look like their parents. That is this That's generation's casting, casting now. Casting. Like, yeah. if you look casting. at it, it's yeah. so different. It's, it's like, diversity's a must. Yeah. And I feel like it's like a, 
it's just the check mark. It's like the yeah. easier way to seem like you care about that topic. Yeah, right, yeah. And they're like, oh, just make that part of the casting. And yeah. you're like, damn, that's that's and the casting's yeah. accurate because before it would be like like two East Asian parents. And you have like a really dark Filipino kid. Yeah. That, That's not the dude, you guys are just racist. Yeah. Yeah. But then now it's like it actually looks like oh shit, That's this totally. is like, oh, yeah. 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 So you see a change, you notice it in commercials, you're like, oh, that's actually very good. Yeah. yeah. They they nailed it on that one. Plus the Hoppa demographic is so good. Yeah. Because it's like on, yeah. nobody can get mad at it. Look, we all love we all love mixed and races. They're hot. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Ambiguous race. Hey, don't they're fetishize, sir. <laughs> That's yeah, another thing that's crazy. tired. <laughs> yeah. That's tired too. You can't compliment anybody without being a fetishizationist. Dude, say it. Say, say your line, Nick. What? You know, the thing with the kids. Oh, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'll say, like, kids are hot. Like that? Ooh. I look at the camera and I go, you just ruined the whole kids are hot. We can't put